What up, guys? Today, I want to rant about the state of music of, I guess, this generation. Maybe the uh, the trend in which music is going, perhaps? I don't fucking know. So, recently I was in the car and was listening to the radio, uh, just listening to a normal rock station, because I'm a faggot and I like rock, go ahead, it's fine, whatever. Um, so yeah, there was a commercial, I changed the radio station, I turned it to a uh, one of those top hits, a uh, hip-hop station or whatever. And I came across this song, and it really just kind of struck me as how stupid and fucking useless and terrible it was. And... You know, I've I've accidentally listened to a lot of uh, top 50s uh, tracks in in the past, and I've never really agreed with uh, with all the people that that like this kind of music. But this this new song that I heard, or I don't I don't even know if it's fucking new. It was on the radio, so it's probably been around for a while. It's it's it was called like it's called fucking panda and it's, and I looked it up afterwards because that was the lyric that was repeated a hundred times in the fucking song and yeah the song was called panda and it was by by this artist named like designer but it was spelled wrong with like five eyes or some shit to be edgy and it's it's so frustrating because like. I just, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't understand the appeal of this music, and it's, it's been, it's been happening for quite some time where these, these top tracks have really not done anything for me. I mean, even, even the genres of music have just been, have just been fucking garbage and dog shit, and to, like, to listen to. It's, it's just. It's just ridiculous. Like, so back to this this stupid fucking song. I, it made it had such an impact on me in the fact that I hated it so much and found it so stupid that I actually went and looked it up. So as I said, I looked up the uh, the artist. I'm sure, you can call him that. Uh, it was a designer and his fucking computer, I guess. And then uh, I looked up the. Uh, the genre of music because I'd never really heard it before. It sounded, it sounded a little bit, uh, you know, a little dubstepy, a little EDM, I guess. But so there's this new genre of music. Like I said, I don't fucking know if it's new because I'm out of the scene. Um, it's called trap music, and apparently that's different than the dog shit that was dubstep before that, and the rap that was before that, and even like the really bad hip hop that was before that, and it feels like we're just, like the music is just getting lazier and fucking worse, the more, the more that I've, the more that I've heard, like I'm, I'm a curious person, I, I like to know, like why, why people cert do certain things that they do, I, I find it fascinating to find out what the uh, what the human psyche actually decides is uh, is cool or to to follow. I don't know. Maybe that's just something that I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to capture that and sell it back to people and become a lazy inventor millionaire. But that's but that's beside the point. But just like <sighs> fucking, it reminds me that. I've been I've been so out of the loop and it's so frustrating that like I don't understand the appeal. I remember I remember vividly going to parties back in college and without fail uh someone would play the fucking stupid Soldier Boy song from back in the day and the first time I heard the Soldier Boy song you know, Superman that hoe or whatever the fuck it's called, I, I swore that there was no one that was so dumb that they'd listen to this shit. 
And I was wrong. I was so wrong. It's, it's, it's embarrassing how wrong I was because when I, when I go to parties without fail for like a three month period, people would voluntarily open a computer and change the song that was playing, if it was just like a chill Pandora track, to the Soldier Boy shit. And I was like, oh, okay, I know every generation has its breakout hits. It's annoying shit that people can't get behind. There was the, uh, the Macarena, the put your fucking right hand in, left foot out, or shake it all about, some shit like that. You know, there was, there was always an annoying song, and the thing that always accompanied the annoying song was the annoying fucking dance moves. And that's, and that's where it really came to a head, you know? So I stopped, I stopped paying attention for a couple of years. And then, two years ago, fucking stupid-ass Gangnam Style blows up all over the internet, all over the world, and... I think this shit's stupid. I'm like, yet again, there's no way someone could be this fucking stupid that they like this kind of music. Oh, God, am I wrong. If you even go on YouTube to see how many hits that stupid fucking song has, and then he followed it up with some other stupid bullshit that people uh, jumped on the bandwagon and liked as well. I don't fucking know. Like, Psy kind of... Reminds me of uh, William Hung, how how that kind of spiraled out of control. It started off as a pretty funny joke, and then here we are, and he is a, a very rich man because everyone went with the joke, and actual artists are trying to collaborate with him and shit like that. And I know the Psy was a big deal in uh, in Korea or wherever. And that fucking the Gangnam Style blew up because of a Reddit thread. But that's just the thing. Is just even if people are liking music ironically or finding it hilarious, it doesn't excuse the downward trend of quality of of music. So like. I tried. I really did try. The uh, the last generation of music to really piss me off was dubstep. And it's not just the music that's infuriating. It's the stupid fucking culture. And the, the fucking... It, it's what it's doing to the industry. So look at all these uh, emerging artists and all these, I guess, successful artists. If you want to look at hip-hop or the top charts in general. It's just it's just fucking infuriating because like like I said remember Panda is written got by a guy named designer who purposefully spells the name wrong to be edgy but he's not the worst offender this is the first of many fucking assholes that just change their names to be edgy like when I first heard of uh Kesha I was like oh okay and then, obviously, she's super edgy, so she puts the money sign in her name. And then, fucking, you got, like, two chains. You got, fucking, like, these childish fucking names. Soldier Boy, Major, La- Major Laser. What, what the fuck is this shit? Like, when did it become okay to, like, fucking Lil Wayne, even? Like, it's just so fucking stupid to say how can you how can you have a respectable career if your name or the name that you decide to give yourself is so fucking juvenile and re- retarded essentially i just i just don't get it and you know i thought that panda was the stupidest fucking thing ever when i heard it on the radio i really did i went online i wanted to see how popular it was, and I don't have any hope anymore. This this video of this song that caused me to go into this rage spiral where this rant is coming from has over 30 million fucking views. 
and it hasn't even been out that long. So you know what? That means I'm going to be stuck having to hear this, or tidbits of it at least, because I refuse to listen to that fucking bullshit trap genre or whatever the fuck they want to call it. Uh, and my ears are going to be assaulted when people are playing their music too loud in their cars and shit. And all I'm just going to hear, and it's just, it's just going to make me so angry. And I don't get it. I don't get it. Why, why, why is music getting so much worse? Am I really just a crotchety old man? I don't understand it. I really don't get it. And I don't know if I want to. I want it to stop. I want, I want it to stop getting worse. I want there to be more lyrical talent. I want there to be more of a skill set involved in the entire industry. But we're regressing. It's, people are doing um, mathematical equations to find out. They're actually dissecting the popular music. And that's how... Um, certain apps and radio stations are actually created. So you can base it off of tempo, you can base it off of, um, I don't know, like bass depth and shit like that. And people are actually dissecting this popular music and using like Apple GarageBand or whatever to put together hit fucking songs. That's, that's what fucking Kesha did. It's, it's out of control. Like, anyone can do anything. Uh, artist, in terms of music, to me, has lost all credibility, has lost all meaning. And, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll leave it at that. All right, guys, more rants to come.